Hello guys, I just came from from uh, rehearsals, you know, for tomorrow for church and uh, I want to say I appreciate everyone who comes uh, to this channel. I appreciate you even though the numbers are not big like uh, when somebody tried to get hundreds or thousands of people to get on their videos. The thing is, uh, what I share is something what people just starting to realize. The importance of worship, prayer, connection with God, following God closely, and uh, not just doing it for success with how people agree with us you know, based on the culture, based on what we learn from the uh, surrounding world. But the Word of God asks us to, to conform to His ways, His principles, which are eternal. They're going to stay here even after the culture starts changing, even after everything around us is different than now. So, yeah, I thank you for stopping by. I thank you for... Uh, tuning in and uh, I want to say if you stick around you will get on journey uh, because we are we are looking at what God is wanting to unleash amongst his people he need people who will just say here I am let me do what uh, what I can let me do what I've been created to do what my talents are naturally there for uh, for me, it might be <laughs> um, music, who basically I, I play music without knowing the theory, you know. Uh, it is a gift from God. If I didn't have that, I would not be able to learn the, the way how they teach in, in school, you know. But uh, th there is many people who have different gifts uh, which are not catered for. Uh, in their environment, it is like we, we have to look for what will make money, what will pay the bills. But, I mean, unless we are great in our ability to the point where the uh, whole world will pay for us, uh, we have to do things which we are created for, for free. And uh, now a great example is, <laughs> great example is teachers and uh, not doctors, but, uh, but you know, the nurses. Or, or even, you know, when we had COVID, there was, there was this time when we had key workers, and uh, I, <laughs> I was one of them. You know, people clapped to us. We did what somebody had to do, yeah? Uh, doctors. Uh, or especially nurses and teachers, they do something what somebody have to do, but their salary don't increase. <laughs> you know, um, they are not getting rewarded like if they solve in the great problem. You know, <laughs> now you say that if you solve great problem in society, you can become millionaire. Uh, yeah, I agree to some point, but how come society don't reward? things which are crucially important, you know, it don't reward it so well as, for example, somebody selling the watch time. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, this is our elections. We are voting for what is important. And uh, so I, uh, as key worker, I also didn't get more money. <laughs> we just had to do it, you know, people clapped then they let you get on with your wage. They don't ask how you're going to pay your bills, <laughs> but they clap for you. Uh, the same happens when, when you are a worshiper in church. Unless you are so great that you command a great salary, you do it from your heart, you know, and uh, you still have to put in work. It costs you time. Uh, sometimes uh, there is different hard breaks where you put uh, a lot of effort in and there is a little realization uh, that you do something. <laughs> so yeah, um, I thank you for everyone who comes around. Yeah? We are looking into, into 
increasing usage of uh, natural abilities we, uh, and uh, spiritual gifts which God gave uh, to us, you know, and uh, we, we, if not church, the world will not revert such, you know. The world does not have money for teachers. The world doesn't have money for nurses. It doesn't have money for anyone who just help, uh, you know. Uh, it don't have money for what you are naturally created for. But the church uh, should be the place where, where you become useful and rewarded too. So yeah, uh, I'm looking into how, how to follow the principles of God, how to follow the pattern, blueprint he gave for building his church. Uh, what we need to change in our churches uh, to get rewarded for what we do, uh, not by pushing someone to give you something, but by creating natural environment where uh, d different graces flow, where different blessings flow, where uh, rewards even from the world around you naturally comes into. Yeah, so that's one thing. I also want to share uh, our bishop uh, is great man of God. He how great wisdom. He is also a teacher, you know, who uh, is prime example of. He's prime example of uh, being the, the man who work such a great work, you know, and uh, the rewards are still yet to be released. He written a number of books, uh, and they are great books, you know, about worship, about uh, how God speaks to you. This is uh, one particular book which uh, is going to be launched this weekend, uh, particularly the Sunday um, tomorrow, <laughs> I cannot think what is the date, uh, apologies, yeah. Mm. I want to say, uh, Bishop was working on this book for a long time. Uh, it was already supposed to be released some years ago, you know, but uh, things happened uh, and there was great opposition and uh, sometime you might also say that the time was not ripe, who knows? Maybe it was time, maybe it was God who let it wait for so long. Maybe it was the works of enemy which didn't want uh, such a book to be accessible to people in mass, you know. But the book is going to be unleashed tomorrow. The name is Divine Punctuation. It is about how God speaks to us, uh, uh, putting lights on how even the Bible or uh, life around us, how there is different punctuation marks, how God is uh, giving signs, how he is showing, you know, his people what to do and also what is going to be happening around us. Where should we put our energy? So, uh, I know you don't know me yet, but it don't matter. <laughs> um, um, you know, if you look for Depending your spiritual life, depending uh, how you pray, how you worship, uh, what you consider when you follow God, uh, how do you love your brothers, your sisters, uh, if you want to proceed into deeper waters of Holy Spirit, in deeper waters of that fellowship, uh, that attitude of kingdom, uh, I welcome you to stay around. I will slowly work on quality of how I present things, how I speak and what, but for now I'm just being me, yeah. Um, I am uh, working for Bishop as minister in music, you know, I play keyboard, bass, and uh, I I am learning more about the different connections in, a, in a spiritual connections in worship, in prayer, in uh, how word of God should sustain both of this. You know, how all of that should come from our heart. So I I am working with Bishop and I invite you to stay around. I will be sharing also his, uh, his works, you know, his uh, preachings from, uh, from our online, um, from our online releases on Sundays, you know, sometime 
there is really worth to tune in and uh, to listen to these pairs of anointed man of God who, who will teach you how to look for things which normally you would just overlook. So I want to say one, one more time, I appreciate each of you. And hmm, most of the time I will just get straight to the point, but this time I, I needed to encompass it a little bit. I want to say I appreciate each of you who come, even though there is not many of you at the moment. Uh, I am uh, praying and I'm seeking for people who are actually hungry for what we, me and Bishop and uh, others in our ministry have to share because the kingdom of God came near. Kingdom of God is among us. And uh, our church and many churches around the world start to uh, connect. You know, the prophecy from Ezekiel where there was the, the valley of dry bones. You know that this is about church, not just Israel, but it is also about church. And church is the image of Israel and is connected with Israel spiritually and physically. So the same as those bones connect and they, they are created into great body. This is what is going to be happening in church. So we see into it a little bit and we, we prophesy, we call the word of God into our lives. Uh, if you are interested to see the church to become glorious, to become one, to become truly uh, the bride of Christ, you can as well stick around. You subscribe and you share something from our videos which, which will be ministering to you, which you will see that uh, it can minister to your friends, family, uh, children, parents, uh, anyone, you know. Share it, uh, comment, get involved, ask questions, but mainly if you uh, feel any connection, pray for us. Pray for us. It is more important than any uh, anything from it. Uh, what I mentioned before is more important than sharing, more important than watching, uh, more important than commenting or, or liking. Yeah, <laughs> praying for us. Pray for us. You know, some of you might feel burden that God asks you to pray for us a lot. You know, pray for us hours, pray for us minutes, pray for us as you hear the videos, as you. Praise uh, with the instrumental worship which I minister to you guys. You can pray for me in thanks, you know. You can pray so I will be late, so I will be tuned into what should I do the next, what, what should I be doing right now in this moment. It's the sons of uh, Issachar, I believe. It was sons of Issachar who knew what Israel should do. Let me be like that. Let you guys pray for me. Let you also be like sons of Issachar who know what Israel should do next. Let a prophetic people uh, come around this, uh, around this channel. Let musical prophetic people come around this channel. Let people of prayer and worship, warriors of prayer, come around. Let people who are disheartened and uh, like men of David, you know, people who are uh, dislocated and uh, displaced in the society, let you guys come around. I, I have a heart for you. <laughs> you know, I, I'm looking for people who've been let down, who, uh, who are looking for that hope again, not for selling the hope. I will not sell you uh, what you can do to become successful, but I will show you point you to the one who give hope, to the one who heals, to the one who call what is not like if it was already. We will also call together things which are not yet for them to come. I invite you, join us, pray for us and interact. We love you. God bless you. Uh, about the book, I will put the link under in comment. That book from Bishop is a great book. It's about divine punctuation. It's about leading of God for his people. 
get your copy. Bless the ministry and pray for next endeavors. Pray for our wisdom, for, for the fact that uh, any type of confusion and enemies' attacks against us will fall short. They will not work. Uh, any weapons made against us shall not prosper, but we shall prosper more and more in the name of Jesus. We all, us and you guys, we shall prosper in the spirit of the Lord. We shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We shall prosper and go from strength to strength, from greatness to greatness, from victory to victory. And at the end, whole church will be glorious, beautiful, without any spot and wrinkle. It will be felt by the world around us. It will be noticed by everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. And at some point, before there will be great persecution, before there will be the great tribulation, before that point, there will be points of glory where everyone will favor us for some period of time. We look for this time. We look for the last great revival to come. This is not a revival of groups, but it is when the whole church become unified in the Spirit of God. Amen. Love you. Bye and see you soon.